What is going on? Welcome back to AC Auto Carts. So hey, today, doing another set of seat covers. Uh, we have my friend Edwin's cart uh, down here and we are gonna uh, replace these seat covers. He has, we're going from red and black to this red and gray design. Um, we've been looking to do these for a little while. He's been kind of unhappy with the seat covers that he had on the cart when he bought it because they were, the red was very faded. So we did do some vinyl paint on this, which is kind of already flaking off. And then the black is kind of faded too. So he's freshening up with a new set of these seat covers. We're going to have to be very careful because alignment is going to be key. So I'll show you what the plan is in a second. This is the 2001 black Yamaha G series that we saw in a previous video in the windshield uh, segment. I have a video called windshield tips. That is the cart we're working on today. We'll get these done and we'll do an overview of it real quick. Uh, we got one other little thing we're going to do to it today. Um, we have the back seat here. The As we saw in the intro that I did, the foam is in good shape, right? But the, uh, the wood on the bottom is complete garbage. So we had to cut out a new piece of that. So we're ready to go with the seat bottom. And then when we went to go get the backrest off, we've got a problem. And I'll get you guys in a little bit closer, show you what happened there. But this is soaking wet so he's definitely going to have to be covering this card up because that back seat is definitely suffering uh, we'll go over what was in this kit that he got came with some foam and uh get to stapling and aligning because again alignment is going to be the key let's get started we get going here's a little bit of the before so most of the seat covers I've had to do there's a big chunk missing here so I don't have that scenario but the vinyl is you know wore out here a little bit here's some of that color this is the original so it held up it's it, it does pretty much sit outside so it's holding up does get wet it does have wet bathing suits on it and so forth from time to time so it just isn't holding up so he's going with the new one but overall was in pretty good shape the back seat you know, outside of the rotted wood, um, you know, this was the top. And then the seat backs themselves, no rips or tears or anything like that. So it is an easy recover. Just a little faded on the top here with that one. And the same thing here. So not a big deal, not a lot of repair needed. We're just going to cover all this back over. So for that backrest, the mounts are those... Uh, wood anchors right and this is just i mean you can tell it's dark but it is absolutely saturated so the wood just rotted enough and we struggled getting those bolts out yesterday so uh, we will have to do a new one of these guys um, so that we can put those anchors back in here and keep it clean this is a williamson rear seat so it does have the plastic cover that goes over it that is undamaged let me grab that so for our application, this is the bolt that we need. I'm not sure what happened. I know these things come with maybe two. I'm not sure three. I mean, this card is, we bought it or he bought it, you know, two years ago. So I'm not sure what happened, but yeah, Williamson rear seat. We got to replace the wood so we can use this bolt hole again for those brackets. I did bring the brackets out back. These top ones, they are drying right now. I spray painted, I sanded those real quick, spray painted them quick so they look clean. Uh, but again, we'll address that in a little bit. I'm going to do the main cart seat first. Also, real quick, brand of seat. Uh, top stitch. So that's some of their information. Um, maybe it's Easy Life. That's their email address. Comes with some extra foam. I don't think I need it. Uh, but we will get the link for you. So if you're interested in this style for a Yamaha, you'll be able to find those again on eBay. Staples I'm using. Good enough to last me a lifetime. No matter how many seats I do. I don't think I'll ever go through all of these unless I start doing this full time, right? So the centering plan. Just put a line here. That's center, right? 
I've got a line centered here and down there. So if I line those up first on both of them, that should do me the trick. What I probably should do, I should probably line up this in the same manner so that I don't, because again, these lines need to be the same. So we'll figure that out. Uh, let me just, yeah, I think I'm just going to do this. We'll try and put them at the same point, right? Pull this top one in at the same point, pull this top one in at the same point, do the same on the other side, uh, and then start out there. I'm not going to take the old covers off, but I did just trim some of the excess off the back. So that gives me less to deal with when trying to fold those other one over. These guys also, if you're not aware on the Yamahas have a cover factory cover. There's two pieces of it. Let me show you. Uh, he's already painted this, so I'm not going to paint any of this stuff, but this goes on like this and then these will cover back over. Uh, I believe we should be fine. It should fit back in here just fine. Stuff that back on because there is a bit of a gap here still. So I think that this will still go over. We'll, we'll still be okay. I like to leave the covers on there. A little extra is probably better than a little extra protection, but kind of second guessing myself actually with that cover on whether or not I should pull this old one off. But I like leaving it there just because it's extra padding. But yeah, I want this to fit. Hmm. All right, I think I'm going to pull them off because by the time I put those other ones on, this is not going to want to go over it. All right, well, new plan. Eh, never mind. Every seat of these I've done, I've just covered it back over and those Yamaha things fit back over. So, you know what we'll do? We'll just check and see if there's already a cover under here. Because if there's already one there, then that means I probably don't want to, right? And this is the only one here. So, it's just this cover and the padding. So, I'm going to leave it. I've done, this is my third set of Yamahas that I've done, and I didn't have a problem before, so I'm going to leave it. Get this staple out, staple that guy back down, and heat up those covers. So you want to stick those new covers in the dryer or lay them in the sun or something like that. You want to get them stretchy. So we'll stick those guys in the dryer and get them started. All right, these are warmed up. The bottom is gray. So what I really don't want to do is put them in backwards. That would be catastrophic. Okay, so here's that line I put in that's center, right? Stick that there. Same thing here, line center. And we'll try and put it in the same place with the other one. Center. Now let's get this guy in the same relative spot. So I have the same distance at the bottom. Pull the top tight. Do the same thing here. Right? Oh, I can stick it. It's got that um, natural line. I can use that as reference. This first little body line here, if you will.
Good. All right, so both in there, then this is pretty much equidistant, right? And then this, and then I did the same thing inside that pleat. So now we'll pull the sides in and do the same thing, try and get those equally, and then we'll tighten everything up. So here are these doubled up. This is the one I just finished. So I know I was worried about that fitting under, but it fits under just fine. So we're good there. So the markings you see on here are not mine. That is from whoever, the builder, the sewer, the seamstress, whatever. So I think we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna mark out center. So this is nine in between. So we'll put four and a half, just so I know exactly where center is here, and we'll mark center on that bottom, and I'll do the same thing. We'll just attach this right in the middle, and ideally that will then line us up with the backrests. Yep, so this is pretty much the middle. already marked out from before. So if we keep that middle line here, should be good enough. Well, good enough, should be good. Just some last minute seat prep. I did remove the material here so that I don't have to struggle putting new stuff in here. So I just cleared the way there. The rest of it should be pretty easy to bump in. Oh, I did here too, uh, just because I want to be able to get it in here as well. So just a couple areas I cleared out. The rest of it will just staple on top of all of this. Gee, thanks. Spin around for me, why don't you? All right. I think it lines up pretty close. I like it. Looks good. We'll go with them good. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's up next. Start working on this back seat. But what I want to do is kind of get a pressure washer in here before I go putting the 
seat back up. Maybe we can just kind of clean this up a little bit. Oops. Tell you what, these little lights he's got on the back here, I mean, <laughs> they light everything up. This is the bottom seat cushion for that backrest. This is that piece of wood that I cut. Um, I mean, ideally, I think you'd want to use a piece of pressure treated like three quarter. This is what we're using for this project. That being said, um, I'm going to take this back out back. I'm just going to nip a little bit more of the corners off because that is just going to poke through. So again, we trace this off of that rotted piece of wood. Uh, and now just with this cover on it, I just think I'm just going to round those corners off a little bit more than I did. I think that'll help. The width and the length seem fine. Just those corners are sticking out a little too far for my taste. I rounded the corner off with uh, masking tape. So that's a little better. Still a little bit protruding, but I don't want to cut too much off because it needs to, the board sat nice on here. And I need to make sure we keep enough material to stay here. I can't be shortening it. So I'm going to leave it as it is. That edge will be hidden here anyway, so that'll be fine. I'm going to go and hammer this thing home. Same thing like last time. I'm going to start there. We'll secure the center and then work our way around. Same deal. All right, bottom all done with that one. That was actually pretty fun to do. I struggled a little bit. This side was kind of pulling this way, so I had to unhook it and make it straight. So hopefully we will match that up to the top half. I'm going to go get some hardware for that. I did not bolt this in yet because depending on where that top is, maybe we'll be able to shift it just a hair if it's off a touch. But I'm going to go get a piece of wood and some hardware. I get, we have leftover from that the bottom of this one, so we'll use that. <clears throat> I probably should call it a night because I just went back and forth to my shed three times looking for these Christmas tree bits. This one in particular. Couldn't find it. I just went out there for literally the third time and it was sitting right there in front of the right right on the desk right where i left it i really you know now that i bought hardware that's too big couldn't find this i really should quit what do you think no we're going we're moving on all right so yeah i just gotta hog this out a little bit over here uh let that bolt come through we're going to use this hole uh using the markings here. Obviously, we'll try and center it and punch this through the back, right? Um, and then these will come, goes in like that, and then these will come through this way. So let's work on that for a little bit. I'm going to um, get those bolts through. I want to center the wood, the piece of wood over the seat. So we'll make the markings on the wood where the lines in the seat are and then when i put the cover on we'll be sure that those line up that's the plan at least so we'll drill a couple holes here and go from there i'd like to remind everybody i am aware that this is not the right wood for this project but it was free. So we're going with it. Okay, that'll do. Hammer that in.
All right, so I got my lines drawn, like I was talking about here, 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 and here. Measured them. This line and this line are about 12 inches in, so that should center up with our dip here. The cover is in the dryer warming up. So I'm gonna start with the bottom, uh, and then we'll pull it back, put a couple in the top, make sure it's straight, and then we'll hammer it home. All right, so with this kit, as with the other one, this is not my marking, rear back, top. So they have it marked out for us. So you, it's kind of idiot proof, hopefully. We'll see the fitment as we get this stuffed in here. All right, so I can literally put the, good, they're like ready to rock already, right there, boom. And then this one, I can kind of bring down, follow this line, because it's basically right there. Actually, this needs to go over just a touch. So we'll start with this into this one. And then that's going to come down that way. Actually, let's move it up a little bit. There we go. I'm going to go to my line that I have here, and that should be those, that should mimic the seat lines. Look straight. Ooh, it worked. I mean, this is not down, but I think that's it for tonight. So we will see you tomorrow. All right, hello, next day. So I did a quick pressure wash of the back of this guy. Just kind of waiting for it to dry. So before I finalize and button that seat down, I'm just gonna spray this real quick, a little rust prevention, and uh, it'll clean up a little bit of what's going on in here. So unfortunately, this is just some overspray from when the seat got sprayed. Uh, so, Again, she's a little old, this cart, but that's all right. She's doing the things. It's actually one of our faster carts in the neighborhood. And uh, I know this is driving them nuts. We're thinking about getting some of the, maybe a rubber mat or something to glue onto this, or maybe even just buying a seat cover, but or uh, a cover for it, a piece of rubber, something, protect some feet, because we do have shoeless feet on that every once in a while. Uh, but yeah, I just gave it a quick bath this morning. But the seat covers are looking great. I shot Edwin a photo last night. He's super excited about it. So uh, happy about that. So yeah, I'm just going to cover this up real quick. Spray the, uh, spray the frame. I might actually take some of the bumper and trim and spray in here real quick too to just kind of even some of that out. This is one of our LED lights for underneath it. So we'll put that out of the way. Or underneath the seat, I mean. So we'll get this buttoned up. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I prefer to break these things down all the way and kind of refresh them as you go. But uh, we'll probably get to that point with this. I know he wants to paint it, the body potentially. So if we pull the body off of this thing, we'll do a full respray of everything. And I'm out on this can. Let me grab another can.
All right, so I, I sprayed this with a black hammer texture, whatever uh, color. It's a little bit more gray than black, but it covers up the rust, cleans it up. Uh, put the, as you saw, put, put the bumper and trim in here. That cleaned it up a little bit too. Again, we'll probably blow this thing apart soon and then really get after it. But uh, I mean, you know, get that, let that dry, get that seat on, and we're gonna look a lot fresher. So being as it's a new piece, there really isn't any holes. So I'm just gonna do some stainless wood screws up into that. All right, there's that. Cleaned up. I'm about to do my closing. Uh-oh. <laughs> so hey, thanks for watching. That's gonna do it for this video with our new seat cover install on our G-Series Yamaha. Uh, again, it's a 2001 or 2003, one of the two. I should check that VIN. Anywho, we'll put the link in the description for you for these particular seat covers. Please remember, like and subscribe if you're finding these videos helpful. Hope they are. That's the whole point. This is a very DIY scenario, so we want to make sure that we're helping people out at home. Uh, again, be on the lookout for an upcoming video. I got a little quick little plan for this before we give it back, so we'll take care of that one in the next one. Uh, so we'll see you soon. Again, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.